goes Tyler. All right. Is Tyler on yet? There he is. Uh, yeah, he just got on. Multi-shot. There we go. All right. It sounds like everybody's... What? And yes, technology. It sounds like everybody's volume went down whenever I came on. What the heck? Can you hear me better now? Yeah, I can hear you now. All right. I can't hear Noah. Wait, can you hear me? I barely. Can the can the chat hear him? Technology circle, can you hear me? I can hear you quite all right. You should have won that mouse. <laughs> I'm no, sorry Tyler, you didn't win that probably mouse. Just because you're using a PC. Oh, oh man. It always yeah, comes back to that, why. doesn't that's it? That's probably why. It always does. Yeah, the Magic Mouse. What's your YouTube name? Maybe you were like second place. I think his YouTube name is just Technology Circle. Yeah, well. Oh, yeah, I know Tech TV yes, 9. I know is that Tech you? TV. He's so annoying. <laughs> oh wait, that is him. <laughs> Never mind. Say hello to my That's brother. like your fifth name, man. You need to right. chill out with the names. I need to go to, to every brother. single YouTube. His name is Sam. Hey, Sam. <laughs> Oh, he doesn't think he's famous. That's what I get. I get like 10 views for videos half the time. Dude, Noah, do you think you're so famous you get like 10 views per video? I do not. <laughs> Hold on. Yeah, I think it's like 5. <laughs> I mean, like, views, honestly, they don't mean, like, necessarily fame. I mean, it's really sort of, like, user interaction. I mean, like, you could get, like, five or ten views per video, but, I mean, if you have, like, every single one of them uh, interacting with you, I mean, that's pretty good. Any, I get views that have a number with the number seven in it. See, I have 47, 57, 67, 87, 74... That's kind of weird. Uh, wow. 76 with 7 likes. Um, well, at least 7 is a lucky number. So. Sevens. 297. 37. 71. Yeah, I, like my random video I made last night announcing the live show has 21 views. My video, my PC build video before that has eight. Like people just watched the most random stuff. Well, I mean WWDC that though. Means, I mean, since a lot of people are searching it up in. now, it would probably get a lot more views than like I a guess. lot of the other videos. It's probably meta metadata. Yeah. Like the T4i video I made, like it got like more videos than the last two videos I made, which I think I made like about four or five days ago, and already it's sitting like near 150 at this point. Go ahead and get back into the Engadget. Yeah, they're still outside. Nothing's changed so far. I mean, I haven't refreshed, but it should be. Yeah, they're still outside. Yeah, it automatically refreshes when something new pops up. I <coughs> actually did refresh it just to make sure. I love the new layout that they have now yeah, for these it live blogs. Refreshes. Because now you can have like text in its own thing, and yeah. you can have pictures in its own thing. Doesn't have to combine the two. Yeah, Did before it was. Yeah. Apple before it would like scroll down and. Allow video live streams. They're stupid. 
No, because then it's just like you're there, but not there. Even though they put it up like two hours later. Yeah. I wonder though if Caitlin and Matt Which, that's what I'm gonna uh, do. will be able to make the stream. Let me see if I can. Uh... This is so weird. For some reason, every person on my participant list says they're co-hosts. Yeah, that, mine said that earlier. It said everybody was a co-host. Mine says I'm not a co-host now. But oh, we got a new picture. Yeah. It's the back of some girl, but they're inside. Yeah, with a tiny little Apple logo on the shirt. Where are you oh, saying that? A little Apple logo, isn't it? Tyler, where are you saying that? Gadget. Uh, it automatically oh. updated on the Engadget. On Engadget.com. Oh, there it is. I was thinking you were talking about it in the stream. I was like, that might be Caitlyn. But. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like hot right now. Go ahead and full screen this. Up, oh, text question. And they are now in their seats for WWDC. Oh my gosh! Oh, I just. What just happened? What, ha what just happened? Did you just delete the question? I, I, I clicked. I clicked it really fast. <laughs> yeah, I did. Yeah, I think we both clicked it. I think we both clicked it. Yeah. Oh, new picture, I think. That was an X. Oh, they're in their seats. Okay. Yep. The question, though, it says, what software did you use for text on your screen? So I think it was for Noah. I think that's what it was about. Oh, Minicam. I got to get something Why like that. Why don't I have that on mine right now? What the heck's my problem? I wonder if I can, uh, let's see. Let's see how fast this goes. Maybe I'll be able to install it really quick oh, and then refresh. Oh, so the screen. They have the stage already. Yep. And guys, just as like a little bit like of a discussion right. starter, uh, just so that way we can get like some of the questions in early on before the uh, keynote starts up. Like something I've always been uh, thinking back and forth on is how, like obviously Tim Cook isn't exactly like the perfect showman, but like if he was to sort of like step out of the spotlight, who do you think would be one of the best people to go into the spotlight at that point and give the keynotes from then on? Probably Scott like Phil Schiller or, uh, yeah, that guy, yeah. I call him the crazy eye guy. <laughs> I saw you, like, retweeting one of his things, and I was like, wow, I didn't no. know he had a Twitter account. And I was like, oh! Yeah. Yeah, uh, by the way, Matt says he'll be here in a bit. Awesome. Oh, wow. Look at the new picture. Keynote. It's a good shirt. I gotta get an Apple shirt. I'm like downloading that. Mini Cam right now. We'll see if I can set it up really quick. I'll be there in a bit. We have one question. Okay. Don't delete it, Tyler. I'm gonna click it. Yeah, you click it. You click it. <laughs> How do you use Mini Cam with vocal? That's a good question because I'm gonna need to find out really soon. Uh. <laughs> Okay, so if you go, if you start up Minicam, uh, you just need to have it on. Uh, here, I'll show you my screen. Let's see. Uh, sources, new picture, yeah. Okay. Desktop. Desktop. Okay. So. I can't see that. Hold on. Okay. Wait a minute, I can probably make so his the primary camera. Setup, Hold on a second. Uh, let me go and make uh, Noah's the primary camera. There we go. All right. So We'll drop the question. If you Make sure Minicam's open. And uh, in vocal, when you go to your setup, 
uh, go ahead and click begin wizard and right here you've selected the camera uh, minicam virtual webcam RGB and that's what you want hmm. and then it'll just yeah so that's how well mine's pretty easy downloaded yeah. now so we're gonna see what happens Another picture updated on Engadget sitting next to the esteemed uh, Sash Shagan and the industry's best journalist listening to some of the very uh, bassy music at the moment. They always do a different song every year. I wonder what it's going to be this year. Yeah. Yeah, well, it should work. There's a picture of somebody's camera. Looks like a Canon. Try reinstalling it. Does not work with my Mac Pro 2011. Uh, maybe re try start try restarting it. I have no idea. I don't own a Mac. I'm only a PC. I'm not good enough. Wow, someone filming it with their iPhone. Yeah, I see that. <laughs> you gotta love the new tripod set they always have uh, for, like, cameras like that. But, you know, more and more, though, like, I've been seeing a lot of people start filming, like, actual events with their iPads. Because when I went to my sister's uh, dance recital or whatever, uh, there was, like, this one guy who actually had an iPad on a tripod and had it completely rigged uh, just for filming. But did you hear? There's this boom mic for the iPad and iPhone. There's a boom mic now for the iPad? Yes. What yes. is that even? It, oh my god. I forget what website it was. If you just Google search like iPhone boom mic or shotgun mic, iPhone shotgun mic. Come on, Minicam, we'll install. Finish. Okay, I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna see if I can get this many cam thing to work. Yeah. All right. <laughs> now. Yeah, on the uh, live blog it says at. At Epic Gamer Moore is hoping for a touch screen Retina iMac. I can't say that is a possibility. And then also uh, a possibility fingerprints. Fingerprints. <laughs> One Bahiter is predicting ice cream sandwich on the iPhone 3GS, which is pure insanity. We all know the 3GS can't handle that kind of firepower. Where did Tyler go? He was uh, doing, like, installing Minicam or something. Let me tweet out this link real quick for everybody on Twitter and Facebook. Seventeen minutes. Very exciting. I sent out this tweet earlier saying that I always get like so I guess frustrated that a ticket for WWDC would be fifteen hundred bucks and you could buy a MacBook with that amount yeah. of money. But every single time I would be given the option, I would choose a WWDC ticket over a MacBook. Two hours in a venue with some of the highest Apple corporates ever over a brand new laptop that I could keep forever. Just 
you remember that one conference Apple had where everybody was using the Wi-Fi, and uh, Steve Jobs? Oh, he he was pissed he during that entire time. Off. Yeah, he told, he was like, everybody turn off your Wi-Fi. Oh, hey, iTech is here. Oh, he is. Let me uh, get him in. Viewers. Hey, Matt. You might want to turn up your uh, volume a little bit because I can't really hear you that well. Yeah. How's that? A little bit better, yeah. Maybe a little more. Yeah, just so that way we have enough balance. Is that better? Oh, yeah, that's perfect. Okay. There's a lot of lag. You know, I was just thinking that. Like, Tyler should be back uh, pretty soon because he's getting a uh, Manny Cam. Uh, is it Manny Cam or uh, what was the one you were using, Manny Noah? Cam. Manny Cam. Uh, he's getting that hooked up on his uh, vocal account. Okay, I'm ready. Here we go. Tyler is back. Oh, man. Just don't know where he is. I'll make him focus. Oh, there we go. Okay. Are we working now? All right, we, we now have everybody. Oh, this is many cam. Ah. Oh. <laughs> watermark. Stupid watermark. Probably because it's the free version. Oh well. I have the free version. And there's no watermark on here. Well, you might have the Mac version because they always, like, every time I would get software Especially on my dad's old PC, like, it would always be watermarked. But, uh, we got a lot of people showing up to the broadcast and the live feed. I just posted this on Facebook. Nice. Nobody will probably come. Nobody cares about me on Facebook. Well, I mean, people, like, at least sometimes see the stuff that, like, I do. Oh, I just got your tweet uh, retweeted right there. And, I mean, like, occasionally, like, some people will like my statuses and all that, but the fact that I have, like, the yeah. minimal amount of friends possible, like, it definitely wouldn't be, like, that essential. Like, I know more people on Twitter than I do on Facebook. Yeah. Delete. All right. Get the internet off of this. So, anyway, uh, viewers in the, uh, like, technology circle, I guess, since you might still be here. Uh, if there are any viewers. If you guys have any questions, uh, submit them in the questions box, and we'll be sure to answer them as best we can. Oh, well, Matt. Tweeting it out on two different accounts. Yep. Oh, yeah, I forgot. You had the, uh, Gon uh, the Gonzo account and the uh, iTech224 account. Which one of those is your primary? Because yeah. I didn't know which one to tweet when I was uh, trying to get you guys into the conversation. Um, for YouTube, just go ahead and use iTech224, but my personal one is Gonzo3303. Oh, right. Oh, yeah, I got rid of the logo. Now it's just wasted <laughs> space. Yeah. What should I type? How about... Oh, I can drag that around. Oh, that's awesome. Why don't you do... Here, free advertising. Boom. Let's see. Put that down at the bottom. That's nice. 
All right. Also, let's see if I can get the. Wait, how'd you make it like a light gray? I don't know. That was just my custom, or default, I guess. Wait, are you in the text over video? Now you have your uh, screen up. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's a really interesting picture. I guess we can we can use that for whenever uh, something actually gets shown. But also, I have a screen flow going on my uh, Mac right here, so that way when we get this up to YouTube, I can just go back and forth between the four of us and the uh, live stream on Engadget. Yeah. Six viewers. Welcome, viewers. Let's see who we got here with us today. Four of them might be us. I know, but, like, whenever I go into mine, it always says the same people. Like, Matt isn't included, and I don't even know if Technology Circle is still here or not, but... Like, it still yeah, says, it says there's two spectators. So maybe it's, just, maybe it's somebody from my Facebook link that I posted. Oh. <laughs> That's nice. Maybe, maybe they'll stick around. Please stay with us. Whoever you are. Oh, one's gone. Uh, <laughs> that didn't work. Maybe maybe he's logging in to actually... Nope, two spectators back. Oh. I'm not getting any different people. Oh, and we're back down to four. Austin uh, said he would tweet out live streams if he said he found any, but I think he's talking about live streams of the actual keynote, not live streams like us and you're talking. Yeah. Which would be nice to see yeah. a live stream of the actual keynote, but my internet can't handle that. It'd probably, like, explode. You know, this is, like, probably, like, the first Apple keynote I've actually been home for because, like, every single time they do one, like, yeah. it's always when I'm at Me school too. or it's when I'm doing, like, something, like, that I can't make it for. So this is one that, like I said, yeah, like... I always have them in, like, March. March or April. For this one, is like, as mm -hmm. soon as it said, like, it's happening June 11th, I'd be like, yes, I'm out of school! Yeah, me too. <laughs> Let's see. Anyway, uh... Is everybody oh, else's <laughs> Twitter timeline just full of... This is so of, dumb. Uh, <laughs> Maybe I'll keep this on for the whole live stream. <laughs> I didn't even see that. It's not bad. It's a good look for you. Is that the... Uh... I know, right? The popo. -po. <laughs> oh, there's some that are locked. Oh, dang it. If you find, like, a Pittsburgh Ooh, Pirates hat, that would be the funniest. Yeah, I bet hey, you there are have five a above 500 now, so... I do. How do I get... I don't want... I do not want this anymore. It's stuck! As, I guess I'll just keep this one until I figure out how to make it go away. There we go. <laughs> Alright. We are in the last six minutes before WWDC. Any thoughts on what you guys think oh, we might we end up seeing here today? Uh, Matt, what do you think? Six, new Max. Oh, yeah. Um, iOS six, obviously, and then Mountain Lion, uh, and some MacBooks, or Macs in general. You, Tyler? Um, somebody in the chat thinks I'll have a human sacrifice. I doubt that. I'd say iOS six is the definite, obviously. I'm still banking on some kind of hope that they'll maybe tease the iPhone at the very end because I need to know because I'm very tempted to switch to the Galaxy S3 because it looks awesome. But, uh, yeah, they'll probably update a couple Macs, but definitely iOS 6. <laughs> Matt's saying no iPhone. <laughs> um, I'm hoping they change iOS 6 because I'm tired of the way it looks. So I'm hoping they redesign. I'm hoping they redesign Mail because that has honestly been the same for the last five years 
they need to come up with a change. Yeah. And the icons. Like, yeah. if they took on... Honestly, this is kind of weird, but I'm hoping that they kind of copy off of Microsoft a little bit and take on sort of a Metro UI, because that, honestly, is an attractive look uh, for smartphones, because you have this really clean interface, Windows and it's said. truly built for apps. Like, if they had something... Like, I know... Like, Apple TV, like, people have been saying that, like, the Apple TV box is likely to get updated with an SDK. That would be a cool look for it, because then you would have, like, a going list of applications instead of, like, just page by page. At least something different. Uh, the one guy in the uh, picture in Engadget is using a PC. He's probably the only guy there using a PC. <laughs> Well, he's the only smart guy there. <laughs> There's no need to be biased I do want to get a Mac. I do want to get a Mac. No, no, a, maybe a MacBook many, Air sometime. Nobody's sitting next to him. Nobody is sitting next to him. <laughs> <laughs> he has a nice fedora. That is a nice fedora, though. I'll give him that. But yeah, we are now down to the three-minute mark. Excitement probably could oh, not no, be Tom, it's uh, not a hack and tosh. any better at this point. <laughs> that would be hilarious if it's a Hackintosh. Of all the places to use a Hackintosh, you would choose WWDC. Or like this guy, he's like has a jailbroken iPhone. Oh, they just said that the Cool plays Paradise is on the speakers. Oh, that's, that's nice. the they final ask song. To silence their phones. All right. By the way, you guys. <clears throat> oh, there's there's a little say, uh, the podium way, there. You guys. Could those be the new models? Maybe yeah, Apple is releasing that. water. <laughs> <laughs> it's the new brand of Steve Jobs water. Every time you saw him come out and drink water, this is it. Oh, man. <laughs> uh, we are not watching it live, no, I'm... Will Banks. We are watching it on Engadget. I'm which fine. is just, it's just like pictures. Like this. And also little text things at the bottom. All right. See, we're just Three looking minutes, at pictures 15 like this. Seconds. Oh, by the way, I was trying to say this earlier, but it's lucky for you guys because it's like 12. But for me, it's 9. I know. It's, it must be early in the bit. morning over there. Yeah, I thought about that. I was yeah. like, huh. He has to wake up kind of early. Yeah, it's not Steve super Jobs early. Water. Like, it's still water. Early, but, it's just uh, better. Yeah, but it just works. <laughs> it's just better. But man, for like live yeah, events, it's not though, early. that it's just. But for live events that are happening at night, though, like that would actually be kind of cool being on the West Coast, because I know like whenever they have like either the Super Bowl or some kind of live event that's going on that like is being filmed everywhere. Like, the West Coast always has it just a little bit easier because you can, like, have, like, that three-hour delay going back. Yeah. But then nothing's ever live for us. Like, it's always fake live. I know. That's, like, the one thing I've told myself. I'd be like, I love San Francisco, fake but live. if they can just get Saturday Night Live to be actually live over there instead of just pre-recorded. There you go. One minute. Actually, yeah. But, like, it's not super early right now. I just, I went to bed really late, so I had to get up early. <laughs> so I'm tired. Believe me, I got no sleep either the last night. the first thing night. you do when you wake up, there's only a, there's a live stream. <sighs> I was going to get dressed and, like, take a shower, but I didn't even change. <laughs> 30 seconds. This is awesome. 
Daniel S. It looks like he's not a fan of the uh, keynote. I will agree that Apple's devices may seem overpriced at times. I would agree on that. I will say that some of their products are overpriced, like the Apple batteries I took the other day. But the majority of them are actually fairly uh, priced. It is now 1 o'clock on the dot. Yeah, they... Don't you mean 10 o'clock? Oh, yeah, 10 o'clock on... 10 o'clock. Uh, the West Coast, <laughs> noon, I think, for, uh... Well, technically... Noah, Noah, are you actually in a different time zone than us? Uh, are you in, uh, uh yeah, central time? Here. No, I'm in Eastern. Uh. Yeah. I will agree, iTunes is crap. But, uh, it works for me most of the time. It's right. just really slow and it takes a lot of memory. Hold on to your browsers. Hold on to your browsers. Yep. <laughs> you gotta love geek humor. It's yeah, I the don't best. use iTunes very much anymore. I haven't actually used iTunes in a surprisingly long time because I get all of my like music and movies on iCloud and all that. And I really think that's what was supposed to do because so many people were saying like, "Well, iTunes sucks so bad." Well. It kind of does, but now that we have oh. iCloud, it's not really necessary anymore. They're doing a, they're oh. doing a Siri thing. Ooh, yeah, oh, stand-up routine. Up. How many developers <laughs> does it take to take change a light bulb? A picture of Siri. None. That's a hardware problem. <laughs> If any of you guys have been working with ICS or Jellybean, uh, who's working up these code names? Ben and Jerry? Not the ref- that's funny. The refrigerator. <laughs> oh my god. It's zinger after zinger. Wait, these are Android names. I think. Yeah. They're using GarageBand for the <laughs> drum kicks. Now I want to say something straight from the CPU. iPad, can you slow it down a bit? We're getting some slow music now. My phone is going to be blowing up with... Twitter messages at this point. Tim Cook is now officially on stage. Let's see where this goes now. You guys rock. <laughs> Go ahead. I bet there's new series stuff if they're talking about it. Because on... Uh, this one YouTube channel I was watching to interview Tim Cook, and uh, he was saying, "Stay tuned because Siri is going to have some pretty exciting things." I hope so. Yeah, D D D twelve. It is now, I think. Something like that. I don't know. All things D con. I forgot which number it is, but it's the All Things D conference. Alright, let me put this back in the full screen. He's, he said good morning. It's the longest running developer conference ever. I'm pumped to get a iOS 6 beta today. Yes! WWDC sold out in one hour, 43 minutes. Wow. Wow. And the thing is, you don't even know when they're going to start selling tickets, so you have to be, like, waiting, like, at, like, the original time that they released them last year. Oh, apps store updates. This is probably going to be a bunch of numbers. 
Yeah. Yep. Trying to find a way, though, where I can fit both you guys and the uh, thing onto the screen, so... My dock is stuck. Go ahead and... Uh, I'll probably end up watching this, the whole keynote over again in about two hours, whenever they, three hours or so, whenever they upload it. I'll probably watch it all over again just to do it. Oh, yeah. Oh, I will. I do that every time. I do that every time. Yeah, because you're not going to be able to see, like, software stuff from pictures. You have to actually watch the video. Yeah. I hate that. That's my, that's the worst part for me when they do the app demos. I hate that part. Well... When the developers do their own, like, the games and stuff, I hate that part. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 650,000 apps I don't care. I just don't want to don't care about that stuff. That's a lot of apps. That is. Almost half of them are iPad. What if... Designed. What if they share the new iOS and it looks just like Android? I'd flip a lid. 30 billion apps. They Steve Jobs would roll over in his grave before that yeah. happened. No way. Yep. People have now downloaded 30 billion apps. One day he's just going to get up on that stage and say, like, you know what, we downloaded a trillion apps last week, and... Where did it go? Wow. Five billion dollars have been paid to developers. That's I'll a take lot some of, of money. Noah, can you make that go full screen? Five of them are either for porn or weather. <laughs> uh, yeah. Like that. Awesome. Thanks. You can actually, you can click, yeah, you can click on the picture too. It'll make it bigger. Yeah, I like to see this stuff down here too. So. Still no North Korea. Uh just that one little area that they're trying to struggle into. It's hard to believe, like, there's, like, I don't know, like, North Korea doesn't have the app store. That's just, like, weird to me. Well, they really are. Uh, just that one country, though, that, like, nobody can really get into. Yeah. What the heck is my dock still staying up for? Oh, highlight reel. There's like construction outside my house. Okay. App video highlight. Uh, video. I hate it when they do videos because then you're like, now I can't get the effect anymore. Yeah. It's dark. We're hearing birds chirping and footsteps in a forest. Okay. It's like a scary tweet, story. Tweet, 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 tweet. <laughs> Sound effects Stop provided stuck. by Noah. Yes. A man in a plaid shirt is walking through the woods. I live next to this huge and wonderful forest, but I couldn't walk in the forest because I couldn't find my way. What? What is this supposed to be talking about? <laughs> He's blind and his iPhone is trying to help him find his way. Oh. Okay, that makes sense now. Okay. I was thinking, like, you're in a forest. Just go back the way you came. But that was like, oh, wait yeah, a minute. I thought this was like some, like, some feature film Apple was releasing. They had something like that for... Yeah, uh, I wish they would live stream like E3. They had something like that, like a promo for the uh, Google car, the one that could drive itself. And this one guy just gets into the car, and he like goes around to like Taco Bell, to the dry cleaners, and when you get back home, you realize he's blind, and that he's done all of this stuff without driving.
Well, it's an app that a guy made to help blind people uh, to go around. And now they're talking uh, about the classroom. Social live stream on YouTube. There goes half of our viewers. Ah, oh, great. Well, at least it's going up on YouTube. So. Now, I don't know if I can actually... Oh, never mind. I was about to say, like, I don't know if, like, I can, like, minimize, like, any of these other things, like the apps or anything, in order to... Like, make the window bigger, but I just stretch it out so that way it would work. You could, there's all, there's like a full screen button. I know, but I would just want to. The bottom right hand corner of the black area behind. But I wanted to make it so that way, like, I could fit in both this window and the uh, uh, live stream video at the oh, same yeah. time. Yeah. I'm not sure if I close out, like, the live speaker thing if it's going to cut you guys off, though. Because that's what I'm afraid of. I don't want to, like... That said, someone someone just, re someone just yeah. asked me on YouTube, is, sorry, did I miss the live stream? Uh, tell him no. Uh, no. Tell him to come on over. So that's what we need. Yeah, I'm replying to him now. Oh, they're still like showing pictures of these apps or whatever of this story. Of bones and skeletons. Nobody came for a biology lesson. I think a lot of these biology things are kinda cool though. Like even though like it's just like a part of it though, it's always stretched out when they have it in text and pictures. Yeah, that's true. It's not bad when you're watching video. We're back in the country looking at an amazing tree house in Vermont. Yes, Vermont, the best state in the Union. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, you just replied to him. All right. Well, I'm really interested, though, to see where this might be going, though. Because typically when they have all these apps, they always, like, build off of it in, like, a better way. Like, the first time when they were doing the education event, they were talking about how the iPad was reinventing education. And then, they just released uh, textbooks. And I cannot believe, though, that Apple held out on college textbooks. Because that's, like, the market that they really need to get into. Plus, that's where yeah, I'm going to end yeah. up going in about a year. So, we need them more than the elementary schools. Lights. So maybe they will redesign the app store like some people have been saying. That would be pretty awesome, but it would definitely be like a pretty big change. You have to realign. Are you guys reading this? Read the chat. What's going on? I don't know. Oh. Tom Gully's asking us if he if we're reading the chat. Oh well me, I'm going like back and forth between like Full screen, native screen, and just all this other stuff. If they would buy, I'd buy a Mac Pro Nano. A Mac Pro Nano? Isn't that just like. like isn't that kind of just like a Mac Mini uh, in server mode? So that would be like something similar to it. It's. Like it obviously, like a transformer. Like you can fit it in your pocket, but then it it would transform into like a huge Mac Pro or Mac Pro. Oh, that would be brilliant. Man, they're still on the video. The obvious choice for developers <laughs> was know iOS. How Jankovic is. I like a computer I could clip to my pocket. That's Al Yankovic. 
I guess I guess if you say Al Yanko with a J, I guess whatever your accent is, I guess you could say it like that. I use a Y when I say spell his name. Yeah, it's like Weird Al. But what's Weird Al doing at the, the uh, conference, though? Probably had the money to go. <laughs> He's probably... But, uh... Probably wrote a song about it. <laughs> Imagine that, a parody of, like, a song about Apple. That should be, like, his next big thing. I'll bring him back. Oh, video comes to a close. Tim Cook's back on stage. All right. Nice. And now a picture of Tim Cook is probably going to pop up. There he is. Say, iPhone 5. Now, something, like, I have a huge pet peeve about is that the fact that everybody is wanting this to be called the iPhone 5, but nobody really realizes, though, that we've already had it's an iPhone, iPhone 5. 5. It's the iPhone 6. That's what it's, it is. It's like iPhone 6. That's why I keep calling it the new iPhone, because that's exactly what they're probably going to call it. If they call it that, I'll be happy, because as long as they don't call it the iPhone 5, because I would hate it if they called it that, then it would be like, the next iPhone will be the iPhone 6. No, it won't. It's going to be the iPhone 7, but the you're just going to call it the 6. It'll be the iPhone 73. <laughs> It'd be like uh, Windows on, uh, 9. Or something like in a hundred years, it will be Windows ninety seven. They'll be like, there was a Windows ninety seven before this. Lineup. <laughs> new hardware, new hardware confirmed. Yes. This is looking good. Ooh, Mount. Oh wow. Mount that line picture and went really 6. quick of Mountain Line. Or iOS six. I don't know there, why it keeps on. Back to the Stop iOS it. 6. Ah. Oh man. Okay. Why is it keep on doing that pause? I know. Okay. No. Stop it. Stop there we go. I got it. Phil Schiller. Oh, Phil's coming up on yep. stage now. But so far, it looks like we got the new MacBooks, okay. Mac OS X okay. Mountain Line, and iOS 6. There's Phil. Those MacBooks look really thin. The guy was saying the bezel well, it looks, looks like it's a, a little MacBook bit thin. I think it's a, yeah, it says MacBook Air on the... Oh, there they are. Where? I'm not Ooh. getting this. Tyler, where are you seeing this? Why I see I uh, four this? different thing gadgets. Where are you seeing Mine this? must just be so much faster. Let me reload. Because... Wait, oh, it's not... Uh, mine isn't refreshing for some reason. I have to actually refresh the page. Yeah, I'm trying to update the... the old one. I don't think they've announced the new one yet. Okay, here we go. There we yeah. go. Oh, wow. They might be older generations. And now they're starting with the MacBook Air. Yeah, if they make the MacBook Air any thinner, that's going to be quite amazing. Here we go. <laughs> Just got updated. Yep, Ivy Bridge. This is going to be sweet. Ivy Bridge has been confirmed with eight gigabytes of memory. You can awesome! Now. Oh wow! Turbo boost up to three gigahertz so on eight percent faster graphics. Man, these MacBook Airs are going to be screamers. Of flash storage. Look! Look at this. Five hundred twelve gigabytes of storage. Instead of like 100. God, I don't know why mine isn't reloading yeah, and all that. Yeah, a terabyte of flash storage. That you is nice. A terabyte Seven. of flash storage. 512 gigabytes of flash storage, that's good. That is. You Two know. times faster than the original. And then. Oh, USB 3. Booyah! Oh, nice. You know, already all of these specs have now already outdone my current MacBook Pro right now, which is ridiculous. Ten times faster than USB two. <laughs> so like That's funny. five like 
five gigabytes a second with USB three. That's nice. Yeah, but th Thunderbolt's ten, so I want Thunderbolt. Yeah, I want more Thunderbolt. <laughs> Whoa, what? What is this? Is that the? Oh, that wait. What was that? The just the jack. Up? That's what the USB three, I guess, looks like. No, there's seven twenty p FaceTime HD up. camera. No, the blue okay, thing is so that's that's, that's USB three point now. Yeah, that's on some oh, different kind of laptop though. Stuff. That's not on the MacBook Air. Ah. Uh, yeah, yeah, you're right. That's like. Oh, uh, I was wondering why that looked weird. I know Retina display, unfortunately, yeah. on the eleven inch model. Uh, still talking thirteen sixty six by seven sixty eight. God, these things are thin oh. now. They're less than oh. zero point six eight inches. I think it's the same. Did they redesign it? I think so. Because I don't remember them being that thin. Oh wait a minute, this is the eleven inch. I thought it was the thirteen. It might be the same. But two point three eight pounds, that's a tad lighter, I would think. The 13 inch definitely yeah. is thinner though. Yes. Higher display. 13, 1440 oh, by 900. Shipping today. Ooh. Nice. Oh, wow. We also have a really nice update for the yeah. MacBook oh, nice Pro. Nice update to the MacBook Pro. Okay, here. Yep. MacBook Pro. Come on, I'm hoping for those specs I was seeing on Mac Rumors where it was saying it would be 0 0.74 inches thick. That would be one sweet MacBook Pro. Not looking like it. Hyper Bridge, 2.7 gigahertz. Quad Turbo Boost, 3.7. God, these speeds are unbelievable. Like 3.7 gigahertz on an i7 and all that. 60% faster graphics. These are just going to be insanely fast. I know. <clears throat> Well, there's only one other computer, or two other computers they can talk about. Yep. There are three, but Mac Pro's one. Yeah, they flew through those two pretty quick. I know. Maybe. How much storage will the, uh... Oh, no 17-incher? No 17-inch. That is weird. That's different. Thirteen inch, eleven ninety nine. Same price as his other. Yeah, the next laptop I'm gonna get is probably gonna be a MacBook, cause like my Dell's like dying. Yep, same graphics. No Retina display. It is redesigned. It's thinner. Uh, no retina, which maybe they're gonna come out with like a new display, like a uh, like the hey. Thunderbolt display with retina. They could. And they're also shipping today. Yep. All right, now it's time for either iMac, Mac Pro, or a Mac Mini. And yes, still have optical drives. Ah, oh, come on, Apple. You know you don't need those. You don't need optical drives. Yes, you do. Not when you're downloading you movies off. Them, I think. think I think people would. People, they, quite honestly, people I think miss optical drives is more than they realize. I don't think they would, because like you know, for uh, Windows Eight, it's not even going to be able to support DVDs. So what's say, next? Seeing a new model. On Ooh, new model. New model, model on the screen. Oh, they did something really bold uh, when they envisioned the consumer notebook. Uh oh. Oh boy, here we go. Oh, here what? What's Here's this? 
What is this? They, what? Another Why notebook. am I not refreshing? Uh. This could be something big. Come on. Refreshing gadget, refresh. <laughs> Mac, oh. Next generation, next generation Macbook Pro. Pro. What's this? Ooh, I'm excited. Come on, why isn't mine refreshing next now? Next generation. Yeah. Yeah, we do, Phil. Here, just refresh it's your still, page. Mine's still... Refresh the, your page. Mine's still with a curtain. A new killer display. Could this be the Ooh. retina? I hope it is. Oh, here we go. We want the next generation to have a... Come on, just say it or... To have a killer new display. And light, bold and brave. And willing to discard the old legacy things. So what would, would you like, like to see, see in the next what? generation? Pro. Are they really asking, uh, or are they just sort of like trying to edge us on? Yes, this, they are asking that. They're saying that. They're would you like to see it? <laughs> That's what Come Phil on. said. Don't do that to us. What? Just oh! Come on. What? Is that it? Is that? It's the most beautiful computer we've ever made. Oh, please let this be true. Stupid. It's deliciously thin. Oh, that looks <laughs> Better thin. picture, better picture. Come on, zoom thin. in. Come on. Come on, do a better picture. Do a barrel roll. Come on, zoom in. Not tapered like Dude, the air, but very nice. thin. Great USB show. Two port. Oh wow! Oh wow! That is very thin. Come on! What? It doesn't look like there's a disk drive, guys. It doesn't look like oh, an wow, Apple a... computer. No disk drive. What did they oh, just update? I told you, Tyler, there would be no disk drive. When just when you think Apple won't it's do it, they do. Finger. Jeez, that is thin. So they updated the current generation of MacBook Pros, but this is the next generation. Yeah, this is obviously the, the one that's going to take the place of them in about Whoa, a year or two. Sunk into the stage. Oh man. Okay. That's insane. Jeez. This... What? That is really cool. Point seven one Look inches that. thin. That is so Look thin. Look how thin that is. It's... Oh, I want it now. Zero point seven one inches. That's... It matches the specs. This is really cool. The current Pro, it's nearly as thin as the Air. That is awesome. Weighs 4.46 pounds. pounds. The lightest Pro ever. The lightest Pro ever. Oh, I gotta get me one of these. Watch it only be like... People are seriously pounds. excited here. Oh, man. I'm geeking out over this kind of stuff, because this is so good. <laughs> oh, man. Normal people oh, like, I think they have the 17-inch this time. Just like, it's just... Retina display. Retina display. Yes. Yes. <laughs> this is big. Oh, man. Finally, Apple releases something new. This is like one of those rare moments where you're like so excited over something that you really wanted. Yeah. This is so oh, awesome. Yes. Let's see. Fifteen point four eighty it, by eighteen hundred. That's stunning. five million pixels. Four inch display. With... Wow. That is beautiful. Oh my! Look how thin that is. Oh man. I, I'm gonna get one of these. Uh, I will. Can't wait for Christmas. Man, I'm going to sell pretty much like every bit of stuff <laughs> in my room that I don't need. Everything. Just everything. My bed, my room, half my stuff. I don't care. I'm going to get that <laughs> notebook. Oh, reduced. This is this is helpful. It it's a glossy display still, but reduced glare. Ah, good. And better viewing angles, higher contrast ratios. So I remember when I first got. Uh, never bothers me. Oh, never. Man. 
Reading your mail is like reading fine print. Use this resolution. Reading. Surfing the red web can be like experiencing magazine-like quality. This is so cool. I'm. This is. It's gorgeous. Is what he says. No kidding. Oh wow. Oh wow. This is amazing. Guys, they really are taking sort of Mac OS X and iOS into sort of like a more hybrid uh, form with these new MacBooks. Yeah. Wow. Now to top it off, let's make it eight hundred dollars. Aperture has been updated. Well, <laughs> if you love working with, wouldn't players, that be not great? Only the UI has been updated, but now you're looking for four times the resolution. <laughs> yeah. Wouldn't that be great if these were only like five hundred dollars and you could go and get one tomorrow? Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'd be like, like I'd be day. running. I would sell my MacBook if it was five hundred dollars. I'm not even kidding. I'd wipe the hard drive and just yep. give it back. Yeah. Final Cut Pro has been updated too. Yes. Hopefully, there's no magnetic timeline. Oh, I love Maybe magnetic timeline. Are you kidding me? I, I hate it. I at least want them to include an option to turn it on or off because I'm, sometimes it has saved my butt yes. uh, when I've been editing. What is that like? It just snaps video clips together or something? Yeah. Like yeah, in, I like that feature because sometimes you overlap and sometimes you have like the smallest gap. But it also works like if you put like a clip in the middle. It doesn't move just one of the parts over, it moves all of them, which actually sometimes can work pretty well. Yeah. Yeah. I was messing around with Adobe Premiere, it has that in it. I haven't really looked at it a lot, though. Oh my god, this thing is gorgeous. I use Premiere. It is gorgeous. Hey Ooh, guys, Adobe let's start thinking. Photoshop. Let's start thinking how much this is going to cost. I'm going to throw out the opening bid of about seventeen ninety nine. Three hundred dollars. Three hundred dollars. Fourteen ninety nine. Did they say it was thirteen inch or fifteen inch? It's a fifteen inch. Fifteen. Uh, yeah, this is like the fifteen. So, but um, oh, gaming is going to be really sweet on here. Showing the bottom of the computer, it's prettier than anybody else's the top of the computer. Amount. Look how many battery packs are. This thing is going to be insane One, two, on battery. Three. Look. That's, That's six battery packs. Six battery packs. That <laughs> If this gets like 25 hours of battery life, that would be amazing. <laughs> For like years. <laughs> Like, you've heard of all-day battery life. Now try all-week battery life. Oh, look, there's flash storage. There's flash storage. Yes! That's a very big thing. 16 gigabytes of RAM. 16 gigabytes of RAM. 650M graphics from Kepler. Right now. Okay. okay, I'm putting my laptop on eBay right now. <laughs> right now. Maybe. Like, for anybody in uh, the stream, I have, like, basically, like, everything here. Like, I have a Canon, I have a couple of speakers. Like, what do you want? I'll auction it off. 768 gigabytes of flash storage. That's amazing. How's the battery life? Up to seven hours of battery life. 30 days of standby time. Power on that Retina screen display. Which. Oh, wow. Yeah, the Retina screen, the new processors, and all this stuff. 
Well, yeah, it has to power all that. That's probably why it needed six batteries. HDMI. Oh. Thunderbolt. Ooh, there's USB. HDMI. Wow. HDMI is amazing. Oh, it's yeah, going to have HDMI built in? Or whatever. Oh, so the... That's what it says. No, just the, uh... Oh, it no, does. No, it does have HDMI. That is sweet. Oh, yep. that's awesome. Well, looks like I won't need my, uh... Oh, mini display port anymore. To connect to HDMI. Yep. Yeah. Oh, so gosh, that's too. awesome. And also, the mag... The, uh... Power adapter is different. MagSafe 2, what does sure. this do? It's the same to me. MagSafe is now even thinner. Two Thunderbolt ports. Oh, really? Nice. Whoa, they're doing two Thunderbolt ports. I don't know what kind of camera that is, but it so looks pretty camera. sweet. Okay. Oh, that's so a 5K Black camera. Mag it's the Blackmagic 5K camera. Yeah, it's $3,000. <laughs> Can yeah, we I'll stick to... Uh, Can we stick to 4K and then move to 5K? I can't even afford the 2K cameras at this point, so I think the most I could get was the yeah, T3i. Like we don't need this one's only three thousand. We don't need gigabyte Ethernet Thunderbolt one. adapters. I don't care about that. <laughs> well, now that Apple oh, is man, making me not have to buy the mini Display Port. Well, yeah, because now oh, uh, Thunderbolt not only like takes power, but it also it. takes information as well. I'm so torn. I wanted a, I want an iMac, a but I don't know. This bit. one's so amazing. Bluetooth 4.0 dual <laughs> microphones. How many Voice microphones? Apps, stereo speakers. We they made a video. Yay! Another video. Ah, oh, great Apple. Come on. Well, I'm sure we'll enjoy so watching I bet it the later. The videos are a lot shorter than the actual. Thing. Stereo speakers. Oh, this is so Backlit. sweet. Uh, oh, man. I hope they are announced today because I'm going to the Apple store tomorrow because they probably won't have it today. Even though they say it. You know what I mean? And are you, are you going to buy one? Yeah, if I had money. Uh, but, no. I just want to go touch it. Looks like I'm That's going to be mowing really every like person's lawn in my entire... Like, for me, it looks like I'm going to go out and right. mow everybody's lawn every day for the next year until I have that laptop. In the state. In the state? Yes. I just need to go get myself a... I'm so glad I live yeah. in Maryland. I just need to go like... get myself a job. <laughs> well, I live in California, and it's... Let's see what the temperature today is supposed to be. 98, not too bad. Tomorrow's supposed to be 101. Yeah, out here it's 95. They're saving the price till the end, so... Yeah, so by the time you're, like, oh, gosh. cleaning up your I drool send, send from this laptop... Saying, new MacBook Pro, I need one. <laughs> be like, I need one, I'll do anything <laughs> for it. It's $3,000. Oh, man. Yeah, use... It's $3,000? Oh, man. <laughs> well, no, that's what, no, like, I expect them to it. say. That's like, just if, a guess. Oh, if they keep it under 2K, like, I would be happy. Like, even with the specs it has now, if it was under 2K, I'd be happy. This. this thing is beautiful. Yeah, I better start doing business soon. That way I can make some money and buy one. Exactly. Like, I just started my... Oh, these are one of those long videos. Like, I just started my business very own expense. vlog channel. And, like, I finally got AdSense hooked up to it. Unfortunately, though, my only video at this point has, like, five views. So I'm like, oh, not much of a moneymaker for this <laughs> channel. Yeah, they're only like yeah I mean, my I have, like, ten subscribers on that my one. vlog channel. I have 17, surprisingly. I'm like, where did that come from? It's not bad. <laughs> and the thing is, though, I only made, like, one video, though, but I need to get more into vlogging. It's just weird. Like, making random videos when you're in public. That's, like, the one problem. I'm used to it. It'll be like, forget what other people say or look at you. Like, if, they come, like if they come up to you, because I know I, Justine, in one of her videos at one point, was saying, like, well, you know, this one person came up to me and said, like, are you FaceTiming? 
And I was like, why would they come up and ask you that? If you're on a phone call, you don't want to be interrupted, especially if you're on FaceTime. And if they know what FaceTime is, why would they interrupt you? How many people do we have in here? I have no idea. Let me uh, go back. We have uh, four. We have the same four viewers. Probably us. <laughs> So now the unibody is part oh, of the display. Yep, right, really? Good for, it's good for thinness, but it sucks for, uh, but it sucks for replacing. Oh yeah, yeah. But how would they go about doing that, though? I mean, the unibody part of the display. That's the same thing they did with. No, like the screen, the display is all one part. Oh, it wasn't before. No, you could take off the screen it's and the, fancy the fan. thing will be in the back. That is a nice looking fan. Yeah, looks kind of like oh, Tron. So it's supposed to be a lot more like quiet. Fan. It's so nice. <laughs> it looks like Tron. So it's supposed to be really quiet. Maybe the middle will light it's up. A, like Iron it said it's supposed to be. Yeah, it says it's supposed to be insanely more quiet. Every time, like, I do, like, hardcore editing on my MacBook Pro, like, it always turns into a screamer at that point. Really? Mine, mine's not too bad. But then, like... When Which I, version is yours? Because I, I have like, the 2009 the version. Because... Oh, okay. I have the 2011 model. Yeah, model. I, mean, oh. <laughs> I have the highest version of the, of the 2011 yeah, I model. The 2009 <laughs> model right now is worth... Like $640. I probably wouldn't sell this anyway, because, like, one, I'd probably need, like, an additional $1,200 just to buy this new one. But so far, though, like, even the baseline specs of this new MacBook Pro are better than every single spec currently on my MacBook, because I have 4 gigabytes of memory, a 500 gig hard drive, and like a 2.53 gigahertz uh, processor, dual core. So if I can like afford this one in about a year, by the time I go to college, that would be pretty yeah. sweet. Video's over. Oh, Phil's telling us when we can get one. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. We're running up the configuration. Oh, come today. on, tell us Phil. Twelve nineteen. Or about the Tron fan. We won. Twenty one ninety nine. Twenty one ninety nine. Wait, what? That's just for starting. That's ah uh, two point three gigahertz and eight gigs of RAM. Oh man, I don't even want to see where uh, like the next one is going to be for the highest available. Oh no. That's a lot of money. It is. Yeah. Oh my god. I'm done here. I'm done here. <laughs> Graphics, though, are still I'm far not, better I'm than still, the one I have I'm online. In. I'm still in. That is too much. For yeah, me, I I'm going to try and save up for it. Drop twenty five hundred bucks. It's not bad as far as like their laptops go, because if you get a fifteen inch, it'll run you up to uh, twenty one real quick. Oh yeah, like it's not. It compared to the yeah. other computers, it's really not that bad. And of course, they have their environmental standards that they're meeting: uh, Energy Star, Arsenic Free, Mercury Free, yeah. uh, BFR, PVC, highly recyclable. Yeah. Oh, today ships today. Oh seriously? Oh man, when is it in the? When, when is, is the, the Apple, Apple store going to reopen? Later on. Oh man. Look like sold out. Imagine that. Apple being sold out wow. of laptops. They sell out of phones, but if they ever sold out of laptops, oh. that would be amazing. Yeah, I, bet, I bet they're already sold out. I bet they're already sold out of those. So they updated oh, the last the generation still has an optical drive. MacBooks Pros and, this gen and a new generation. That's pretty uh, decent. I know, but who's actually going to buy uh, the older generation when they could get this one? 
I mean, maybe if you need an optical Somebody drive. Somebody doesn't have a thousand more dollars. <laughs> maybe if you need an optical drive, you would get the uh, older one, but, I mean, at this point, though, you probably want to get, like, the one without the optical disc. Oh, man, I need to refresh mine oh, again. Talk, talking about OS... Talking about OS X now. Uh, great. Please let it release today. Uh, yep. That'd be awesome, but I don't think they're ready for that. <laughs> Developer preview. Twenty six million copies. Oh, now they're ripping on Windows. Where are they saying now? Well good, they deserve it. <laughs> Twenty-seven months for Windows Seven to get to this level. That's two years. Count them, Tyler. No, I can count. <laughs> <laughs> I will say that Lion is pretty awesome. I do like the way Lion works, and Mountain Lion nice, is a lot better. Grass. You could do you could make those graphs on Windows. They're just really hard to make. Oh yeah. I can make them in paint in about two seconds. Just throw some numbers on there and just draw a couple squiggles. <laughs> they won't be accurate. <laughs> well, my guess. Oh, two hundred new features, but they're looking at eight. Oh, nice. I hope that. I hope oh, the new features aren't the things that they've already announced, like I know notebook and all that stuff. Like I've been running the developer preview on the. Because I already know about it. Like, I've been running the developer preview on the second half of my hard drive for like four months now, so I've already known like the majority of features plus how buggy it is. Yeah, me too. Wait, who's this guy on the stage? Okay, good, good. Right, They're talking so about all the iCloud apps in one thing. That's good. I like that. <laughs> Isn't this the guy that has a really strong accent? No, uh, he left Apple. This is the guy who replaced him. I know who you're talking about. Oh. You're, uh, who left Apple? It was uh, Batron Serlet. Uh, that was his name. It always did take me like a while to get used to his well, accent, he, but he just retire? yeah, he went uh, yeah. to like something else, I guess. Retire. But he was one of the original Apple guys who was back documents in the cloud in the nineties. Yeah, Why is my documents thing in the thing? cloud is awesome. Why is this not wanting to update? Oh, this is really nice. It's not letting it update live. SDK. Sweet. Ooh, they're giving they're giving a demo on one of the MacBook Pros. Why does it stop reloading on me all the time at this point? It does it to me too. Okay. Yeah, me too. They still have to talk about iOS 6. Jeez, it's going to be a long thing. It is. Yeah. Be here till like four o'clock. <laughs> and if iOS six is everything it's cracked up to be, this is gonna be really long. Uh, Caitlin's so not give like ten minutes to iOS six. It'll be like. Uh, Caitlin's not gonna be we able to make a it. New stock app. She's still without internet. Yeah, we added a new Comcast. stock app. Yeah. That, uh, Man, they need uh, to be on the ball with this kind of stuff. We added we added a new settings thing, so uh, that you can you can uh, don't see what something so that you can turn Ooh, location based on or off. In the reminders. That's cool. I guess having spotlight on or off would be kind of cool if you're dealing with stuff in the cloud, but ooh messages. 
I hope there's updates to messages because the messages beta kind of sucks. Oh yeah. I mean it works, but like there's some things that I really want that it doesn't have. No. Sorry about that. See, my problem is that when I'm using my phone for messages, I'm using my phone number, not my email. So then when I go to my Mac, it doesn't yeah. sync up. Right. That's the biggest problem I see. Reload again. So, they're done with iMessage already. <laughs> it does look pretty <laughs> sweet, though. Yeah, I use iMessage all the time. It's pretty cool. It's sort or, of laggy I guess it's on called messages. Actually. Yeah, this is just sort of the boring part of WWDC where they're just like, okay, here's stuff that we've already called you about. Like, demos, honestly, were never my favorite part of WWDC. Yeah, it depends on what they were demoing. What is that? Oh, that's crazy. That's pages. Oh, I just want to see iOS 6. Oh, man. So now iCloud, iCloud actually works. Yep. It actually works. You're not just doing well, iCloud, animations I, on the screen. iCloud always worked. It just didn't work fully. Like, it wasn't done. Beta. Yeah, it was like it was in beta. Well, that's Ooh. why I always thought of mobile me. Updated automatically. Like, about two years ago, like, I actually purchased MobileMe right before they had the big WWDC announcement of iCloud. And I was thinking, like, you know, there's half of this stuff in here that I would never use. I really only use it for, like, web hosting and all that. Notifications. I like the notifications. I'm excited for that. <sighs> yeah, I'm gonna like notifications. Notifications. Like, that was like the one thing that did work on Mountain Lion Beta, and that was awesome. Alerts come in, but they stay there until you dismiss them. Dictation is now coming to the Mac. Dictation. This will oh, be good. Siri dictation. Oh, sweet. <laughs> People Siri like to talk. Dictation on the Mac. That'll be weird, like you're at Starbucks. Maybe or Siri will be finally out of beta. Just randomly say. No, it looks oh, like it's still the same kind of dictation yet. that uh, was on the iPad. In the iPad. Because you can talk into Facebook if you want, even third-party applications like Microsoft Word. <laughs> What's wrong with Word? I this kind of like Word. Word. What's wrong with Word? I kind of like Word. Yeah, Word. yeah, Tim Stevens. Word sucks. Pages is much better. True. Oh, gosh. It is. Have you used it? Yeah, I have, I have pages on my iPad. That's about it. So I haven't actually used the well, that's, that's Mac client. Completely different. The one of the <laughs> desktop is super like simple and clean. It's way better. But you know, the only time I actually enjoy using Word is when I'm doing like a school paper or something, and then like it actually has stuff that you need. Uh, 
pages, not to say it's, like, superfluous, but it just, like, puts a lot there that makes it look a lot prettier. And I'm not saying that is a bad thing, but it's just, like, one of those things where, like, if you're, like... It does a... A writer or something, then it's not exactly, like, the best thing to do. Works for me. I use it for my It has everything that Word has. It just, like, looks a little different. Yeah. So, they're saying next is the new Safari. Well, I think this is the one where you can type into the address bar and uh, get a search result in either Google or Yahoo. Yeah, that annoys me so much because sometimes I go into Safari... And I like just do it naturally because I use Chrome, and then always like, oh, this cannot be found, right. but it's because I thought I typed in a website. But I, I, I love that. I love having that about Chrome. Cause then I go to other yeah. browsers and it doesn't Firefox work. I get it, so yeah. mad. That's not automatically updated. Oh, that's cool. iCloud will open the pages. Oh, that's really nice. Oh, stopped updating. Mine too. I should pull it up on my iPod Touch. That would probably be a better place to get updated on. I like that. That's ex that's the number one thing that I want is to be able to be searching something on my iPhone and go to my computer and have a look at the same thing. That'd be that's pretty like sweet. the one thing I want. And Android oh, can sweet. do it. They like, have iCloud third party. tabs. Yeah. That's, oh, that's, that's really cool. sweet. That's awesome. So, oh, now they, oh, so, like, if you're on your iPhone, you find something that automatically goes to your Mac. Exactly. Nice. I hope that do that between iOS devices, too, because I look stuff on my phone, then I want to look it out of my iPad, so hopefully that, uh... Yeah, happen. it is. That's, it's through iCloud, so it'll be on every device. So, yeah. Demo. So, what do you New think the most exciting system. part so far was? There's a new scrolling system. Yeah, it's reverse scrolling, isn't it? No, they're changing scrolling again. Well, I don't know. I can't really tell from the pictures. <laughs> it's also, as we understand, really awesome. Oh, if you zoom all the way out, you pop into the tab view. Which might get annoying after a while. John Rettinger said that he's totally going to install Windows 7 on one of those MacBook Pros. <laughs> Good luck. Might break it. Good for him. Good for him. <laughs> you know you have a problem when you buy a Mac just so that way you can install Windows on it. That's just called denial. Because you know it's better. But you just won't do it. See, I like I like Chrome, but then Safari makes all these cool features that makes me want to use it. Oh yeah, because they can have it integrated with all their products. So, like, you can use your iPhone and then like have the same thing pull up on your Mac. Exactly. That's like the number one thing I want from all my all my technology is for it to work together. Ugh. We are seeing notification center uh, now to see a response to a message he sent earlier.
And you know what, though? I mean, the keynote should be out uh, sometime tonight because they usually release it like a few yeah, hours after they uh, have the actual keynote. Yeah, it'll, it'll be out. It'll be out today. Dang it, I should have taken a shower so that I can be ready to make my video. I already have my lights out and everything. I already have my <laughs> camera right back here. Just so that way, as soon as the broadcast finishes, yeah. I'll be like, all right, guys, we did a great job. Time for me to record my video. Already exactly. right. Power nap. Power oh. nap. This Ooh, is new. I like that. We all love using our Macs, but wouldn't it be great if when we weren't using them, they were still working for us? I don't get it. Oh, yes, they oh, work when this... they're asleep. That's awesome. Does that mean I can export a video but close my computer? Oh, that would be really awesome. Yes. Oh, or, please. Yes, sleep my computer while it's uploading a video to YouTube. That is cool. Oh, that'd be awesome. Oh, yes, please. So it's it's just running in the background, all of it. So it's like it's on. Maybe not. It's it not. says it's Oh, I know. It's not though. that. I don't know what that means. Your Mac will be able to update itself and sync itself oh, when it's offline. Uh, when it's charging, uh, it'll back itself. That. It'll back up itself. Um, well, actually, I did want that because whenever like I did like an uh, wireless backup to my computer, it, it always had to be on and iTunes had to be open. And... Oh, can we use can we use the uh, iPhone to sync our computer? Because that'd be awesome. That yeah, would be awesome. Like, can, can I sync my iPhone to my computer while it's sleeping? Because that would be cool. That's the number one thing I don't yeah, like is that I have to have iTunes saying. open. Like, I hate having yeah, iTunes open because it takes up so much memory. Well, no, I think you would have to have it open just so that way you can at least control what goes on or off. Well, I might have... It might run in the background, well, yeah, though. but then, like, I don't know. I just don't... Yeah. Ooh, airplane mirroring is something oh, I'm really excited mirroring. for. That's going to be hot. Because, like, every time I hook TV up my room. computer to my oh, wow. Apple TV, it always has to go through, like, this complex system of hooking up to the speakers and everything else. Now we'll just be able to do it over the air. Exactly. Two short HDMI cables. Oh, you it have the HDMI. Side. Yeah, as soon as you put in the HDMI cables, yes. of course you put in AirPlay. <laughs> yeah. But seriously, an HDMI is amazing. Game Center. I don't care about a Game Center at all. No. Yeah, Game Center. I, along with new, the only along time with, I've opened in the past like seven months was today. Mr. Incredible, wow. I am Mr. Incredible. Thank you, Incredible. Ah, that's the name of it. It was funny because I when I was I got Game Center and the in the beta, so when they did the developer preview for iOS four, um, I got I picked up or I got my username before a lot of people, so there was a lot available. Yeah. Oh man. I mean, Active even Mac, though Game Center. Game Center is a little bit lame, but multiplayer stuff on a Mac, that's where the Mac always struggled. It was never a good gamer. That was it. Well, I mean, Game Center's cool. I just never use it. I don't, like, I don't care about it. Yeah, like, I think recently, like, I've yeah, gotten, like, like, so many invites on Game Center at this point, but I never really know any of the people who do it. I don't even know what game center on my iPhone is. Like it was cool when it first came out. This man has nice hair. <laughs> <laughs> A stig on the stage. What the heck is that? <laughs> it's a car show from a car show. Oh. Uh, 
He, uh, he's the driver. Oh, it must be for real racing or something at that point. Ah, oh, no, it's not. It's not really him. It's just somebody. Is it Top Gear? Race. Racer oh, OS uh, X. Uh, Racer, Racer OS 10. You're saying the suit's a little too baggy. We're getting some multiplayer action now. Drag racing it is. This is looking what really is sweet. Though? Racer OSX Air. against Air Force, Air Force One. <laughs> oh, did he really choose that name? <laughs> That's pretty funny. Look, wins versus loses. Uh. Someone on Twitter said that. Someone on Twitter said. That's Steve Jobs, guys. <laughs> Wouldn't that be just, like, the worst thing ever? I mean, like, after, like, six months, like, it'd be, like, just some conspiracy to hide him just so that way he could beat uh, the software engineer in a racing game. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Uh, Craig lost already. And hopefully... Come on. I was... I'd rather... I was six. I want to know what's going on. Or did you just say that? Maybe. This, this looks like a picture of like all the new features or something. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I think that's for OS ten though. Yeah, that's for yeah, Mountain yeah, Lion. Like my uh. Yeah, that's for OS. One of them says yeah. uh, features so for China. This is next. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, they should be uh, getting new fonts. Oh, I don't care about features, features for China. China. Come on. That's kind of cool, though. I mean, what? It's cool. But nobody but understands. I mean, like, if I spoke Chinese, I'd think it'd be awesome. Introducing like Storm of the Stage. Yeah. <laughs> be like, that's what I'm talking about. But uh, get your apps ready for China. So Mountain Lion's coming next month, not shipping with the new laptops. Quite weird. Oh man. But twenty bucks. Twenty bucks? $20. They Ooh, they lowered it. They lowered it ten dollars. Nice. They heard Windows eight was Windows eight was gonna be a twenty dollar oh, upgrade it? or something like that. That's what they said. It's like for the first like if you already own the previous version or something like that. Yeah. Right. And you okay, can pay... Come on, be announced line. today. Today. Today, today. So Snow Leopard you can upgrade. Okay, maybe not today, but make it like next week. Yeah, please. You can wait a week. If you buy the new Mac today, upgrade free. That seems That'd like a deal, free. doesn't it? You're like, who wants to spend twenty dollars when you can buy yeah, a two thousand dollar laptop? Mac today the upgrade will be free. <laughs> what what just happened? Oh, near final build to play with. Final oh, I am so I am so getting that I developer final. I am so getting that because I am sick yeah, and tired of my second half oh, next, crashing. It's coming it's coming out next month. Oh, yeah. Does it have a release iOS day? 6, iOS. Oh, yes! I don't know. Just next month. That's all I can find from. This is what I've been waiting for. July. Oh, July. I, I, can, I can wait that long. I can wait that long. That's not bad. Yeah. It's when I finish my online class, so 
should be a reward. <laughs> Wait, iOS. 365 million iOS devices. That's a lot. 80% are now on iOS 5. And I have... 5% on, like, iOS 2. I have, like, two. 8 of those devices. Comparing to Android 4.0, that's roughly the same. Oh man. Sadly, 7% yeah, of Android's, Android's customers... Kind of compared... Oh, that's wait, really no, bad. hold on. Wow, that's, that's terrible. Oh, <laughs> wow. They just don't do it. Like, I don't... Oh, that's hard. That's, like, shit, that's pretty that bad. Like, that's funny. But it's it's bad. Like it's terrible. Well, yeah, they're a, a well, they're a very fragmented group. I mean, they really don't have. I don't want to say respect, but they don't have like understanding of the product that they're using, and the few who do are the ones who upgrade. Yeah. One one point five trillion push notifications sent already. Trillion. Yeah, see new stuff. Come on. I knew they would have like a trillion. Now they're just now they're just throwing big. Yeah, now they're just throwing big numbers because of course there's going to be a lot of We're notifications. To says. You know how many emails I get a night? More than one point yeah. five trillion. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I will have to say iMessage is pretty awesome. Day. Oh, Scott's Now they're talking about Twitter. Three times they were... Oh, they have the if new I Twitter tweeted icon. Pictures, then... Ooh! New Twitter icon. 47% of the photos... Yeah, Twitter redesigned their... photos on Twitter from iOS When did they do that? Uh, about two or three days ago. It's in their blog. Oh. What's so different? What's different about it? It's oh, not wow, like different. I like yeah, that one it's like formatted for. It's supposed to be three perfect circles or something like that, symbolizing three circles or something. I don't know. Yeah, like I still have the old design on my app right here. I don't know why it hasn't updated. Yeah. There, it's still not getting pushed to everything yet. They just they want to use that as their new icon instead of like some things having like the letter T for Twitter they just want to use that as like the icon oh yeah it would definitely be much more unified at that point works for me iOS, iOS 6 oh yeah I just realized that we didn't have very many uh iOS changes in iOS 5. We're only on 5.1.1. In iOS 4, we went to way up to like 4.3 or 4.4 or something Ooh, like that. Ooh, Siri enhancements. Awesome. 600 what? or 200 new features and starting with significant advancements in Siri. Maybe Siri is not beta anymore. And please come to the iPhone 4. Yeah. Yeah, right. See, or maybe it's, it has third party Siri's support. Like... Man, they had a lot of old images for the iPhone upgrades. Like they had like one that looked like the and sign of a root sign, and now all this. Remember when it was iPhone OS? Oh my god. Does that bring back memories? And then I remember when they changed it to <laughs> iOS by the time they got to version 3. And it sounded, to me, it sounded so terrible, but now it sounds amazing. Oh yeah. <laughs> Well, because it's more unified now, because it's not only on the iPhone anymore. And they knew it was going to go that way. Ooh, new maps. I Ooh, new, new maps. maps icon on the screen. New maps icon. This could be their uh, own thing for doing maps at this point. Oh, so now... Oh, yes, oh we have third-party support. For a long time. You can ask them, like, questions. Yes, this is for a long time. You can ask them about, like, sports games. Yes, I've uh, wanted please, this forever. Please have third party support, not just not just games. I mean not just sports. I want third start I want developers not just to be the able SPN to use Siri. <laughs> yeah, that'd be amazing. Well you know, if I can ask Siri how to have the Orioles do better in the mid season, that would be good. 
be like, how do they yeah, do it? Go. How do they keep on doing bad right in the middle of the season? Okay, not, uh, not too many Force fans. <laughs> That's funny. Not too many sports fans. <laughs> probably like, uh, that includes sports, me. They I, don't I, like sports. Like, meh. That includes me. I could care less about sports. Like, for me, baseball is like the only thing I like even really sort of care about oh, in terms of sports. Anything else, I'm like not really that. into Who's it. Taller, LeBron yeah. James or Kobe? I don't watch basketball. Like, the NBA, I could care less. Oh, NBA, that's at the bottom okay. of my I mean, list, to be well, quite honest. Appears to be slightly taller. If I ever, ever get in a situation where I need to figure out who's taller, then I guess Siri is my answer. <laughs> good. Very good. <laughs> that rarely happens. I rarely ever talk about sports with my friends. Will you count Siri as one of your friends? I would. <laughs> no. Forever alone. She's with my. Siri. <laughs> she's my. She's my significant other. Siri comes People back. People seem less than enthused. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny because oh, these are all developers. They don't care. Oh, about they them. gave us a date, uh, September 9th, two thousand twelve. Uh, is when Siri is scheduled to come back. No, that that's for no. the. That's just for the game. No, that's for the. Oh, oh that's okay. That's for the game that they asked the question about. Oh, I was thinking like, oh, that's, this yeah, could be. I was like, what's that yeah, even mean? I was, like, oh. I was like, that could be the iPhone. Please. Oh, well, think about this. This is what. This is another reason I don't think the new iPhone is coming out because, if they release the new iPhone today then that means iOS 6 would have to come out today, and they, they haven't even announced it for developers yet, so that just doesn't seem like it would happen. Apple has formed a, par a partnership with Yelp. I don't care about Yelp. I never use it. Me neither. I used it, like, once. And oh, it Open so Table? Siri That's amazing. A bit about I never use Open Table, but I know what it is, and it's pretty cool. You can set reservations through Siri. Huh. Found eight movies at the Metron. Ooh, movies. That's what I like. And there's a movie theater like opening movies. up right by my house, That's so cool. I'm definitely going to be using that. You With a tap, you can watch the trailer. That is sweet. Alright, I'm checking to see if iOS is available for update right now. Me too. Nope. Oh, I like this. I like I the movie like thing. As soon as the I'll delete. Over. I'll delete Fandango in a second. Oh, are you serious? Oh wait, never mind. I was thinking I was out bed again. Well, you can write. You can watch yeah. trailers right in with uh, Siri. And you can even find, like, movies where specific actors are actually starring in them. One of them was Scarlett Johansson, uh, The Avengers, yeah, We Bought a Zoo, and Iron Man 2. A little... <laughs> Siri has learned how to launch apps. Oh, that's awesome. Wait, I mean... so you can launch apps? Yeah, that's what it says. Wait a minute, what's going on now? What I want, oh, I wanted to. Oh, play Temple apps, Run. Apps Siri. What I want yeah, is to say turn off Wi Fi and it'll turn off Wi Fi. Yeah. That's what I want. If I, I'd like some SB settings type of uh, material here. Yeah, exactly. If we okay, get turn by turn directions. Map in. Icon. If we get turn by turn directions in these new updates for maps, that is like going that to be sweet. Same. Oh wow, iOS looks like the same like it's always been. <laughs> hey, hey. Hey, it's got a new background. Not into it yet. Be patient. <laughs> and what is Passbook? Passbook? You see Passbook on there? What is that? Yeah. Looks like ticket stuff. Quite possibly, and maybe we have NFC in the iPhone. Free. Right. 
NFC, is that what it's called? You know what NFC is? Yeah, NFC, that's where you can, like, swipe your phone and pay for something. Yeah, yeah maybe Hands Yeah, maybe we'll have that in the new you iPhone. You keep your hands on the steering wheel while you're... Wait, the hands free allows you to keep your hands on the steering wheel while you're using your phone. A button on the steering wheel. Whoa. Eyes Wait, free. Apple releasing a car? They're releasing a car. The Apple I want... car. Oh. oh, I'll take maybe it, Apple. one more thing. I'm so confused. <laughs> this this live stream is confusing me. I don't know how to... Like, I want to watch the a video. Picture. Wait, what's going oh, okay. on? So, like, if you have Ford Sync, it'll... If you have Ford, like, Ford Integrated. Sync, it'll use the... Uh, it'll just integrate itself into it. Oh. You know what? I think this is supposed to be, like, if you plug it into a car, then, like, you can activate Siri in a certain way, so... Yeah. Like, they're doing this in five exactly. countries and on several different dealers. My car doesn't have that. Um, not for my old for 1997 car. <laughs> well, I have a 2007 car, but still, even that doesn't have that. Uh, yeah. English and French coming for Canada. Eh, says Scott. No, like A. Oh, A. Like a. Canadians do it. A. <laughs> what you doing, so A? Happy Quebec boys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got a new iPhone, A. I like Siri being integrated in. Oh, my friend's gonna oh, be happy about this. Spanish, he just got a brand Italian, new Honda, French, and that's German one of the people who are using coming. it. Okay, so there's new languages in Siri. Oh, so I guess yeah, they're happy they have Siri in their Spanish. language now. Yeah. But you know, for, like, the Japanese, when they introduced uh, Japanese, you know, like, the Japanese, like, meaning, if you, like, put Siri through it, like, means, like, butt or something. And, like, my mom was, like, the first person to tell me that, and I was like, why would that matter? And she was like, I don't know. I was like, well, it doesn't. Like... Plenty of companies. Bring it to the iPad. iPad. Series on the iPad. Oh, really? Ooh, it's on the new iPad. Yes! So much for my iPad. <laughs> <laughs> but not the old ones. Wait a minute, what do you mean not the old ones? Like, it's only well, available... I'm not gonna bring it. Like, is it available on it's iPad 2? It's, it's only on the newest iPad. Ah, oh, come new on! No, no, not the, the new one. Yep. Wait, it says... Facebook, Facebook integration. integration. Facebook integration. Well, this might be able to pull Facebook out of the water. Man. Man, I was hoping that face that Siri would be on the iPad. That would be awesome. Yeah. Of course, not stop grade. Dang it. Wait, did I just see what I thought I saw on the iPad? It looks like there's like more stock apps from the iPhone now. Well, I know they were doing something with stock. Possibly. Oh, I see like a clock. I see a clock. Clock. <laughs> yeah, that's the... Finally. So. That's exactly what we need. We need a clock. Well, if it has an alarm clock on the else. iPad, they'd be a lot better. Tweet. I like the tap and to tweet. That, that's good. just one more thing. The iPhone 5, it's exactly the same as the iPhone 4S, except $300 more. Thank you for coming. <laughs> so you can tweet and Facebook from the notification center. I like that. That's, that's good. That is pretty good. Yeah, I've actually, I want to actually do stuff from Siri. And notification center, not just look at things. You've integrated the app store. Does that mean you can buy apps now with the sound of your voice? No, we're not talking about Siri anymore. We're just using apps. We're talking about notification center. It's Facebook. Oh. Contact syncing as well. I thought we already had that. That's pretty cool. Yeah. 
And yes, it's all integrated for the Mac too. Integration for the Mac too. Oh, nice. So Facebook That's on good. The Mac. I'm wondering what Facebook stock at this point is going to be. It's probably yeah, not on widgets. It's probably not like the same five dollars it was before. Has gone up slightly though. I just want a toggle to be able to turn off newsstand. Yeah, newsstand of all the things yeah. I have Fair never really been. Six. I've never been a big subscriber of newspapers ever. I'm using it for. I'm, I have one thing on there. I have one thing on newsstand, and it's Mac Life. That's the only thing I, I have, have too. Some, I have some photography so new, stuff. New control for life. an incoming call. Slide it up, and you get reminded to later or send a message back while you're in the call. That's cool. Oh, so like, it's just sort of like a reminder to tell you that you can call back. Reply with message and remind me later. I like that. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. So you could actually have like a recorded I message go calls, to somebody. Yeah, I actually could have just used that a second ago. I could have used that just like half a second ago. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, that's pretty useful. I like that. Yeah. Oh. That's pretty good. I like that a lot. Yes, I I needed that like I needed that like five seconds ago. That's really cool. <laughs> I need I need to remind me because when people call me and I don't answer, oh, another I'll, new I'll never call them back unless they call me again. Another so new feature. It's called Do Not Disturb. Do not dis. <laughs> oh wow, that is actually really oh, amazing. So like if they call you. I could also use that for this live stream. That's really cool. Now, see, this is all great, but I don't. But I want to be able to do this through Siri or through an uh, icon on my desktop. Or not desktop, but Springboard. Any push notification will be muted oh, yeah. and the screen cool. won't light up. They'll all be there, but they will not disturb your beauty rest. That's what I need. I like that. Yeah, big. Mm -hmm. But what about what? alarms, though? I mean, let's... Case to 3 a.m. Yeah. Let's say, like, though... I think there's something there for that. Screen your phone calls. Oh, so for this thing, they were just air More. playing it to the screen. <clears throat> you can screen your phone calls now? Wow. Wow. Wait, what? You can, you can apparently screen your uh, oh, FaceTime calls. FaceTime over 3G. It's here. Oh, oh yes. we're going to have it over 3G Maybe. now. FaceTime over... Yes. But unless you are using... Yes. But unless you are using unlimited data, then it will eat up your data plan like never before. <laughs> yeah. So I know... <laughs> yeah. Like, this October, I know it's confirmed that yes, I'm getting an iPhone, but, like, the only plan I'm able to get it on is AT&T, so I will be stuck on three gigs a month. FaceTime over yeah. cellular. I think I'm at, like, five gigs a month. Are you on Verizon? Uh, no, I'm on AT&T. Oh. Oh. Where's dad at? Oh, he's probably going. I'll do it later. See, what I'm not sure of is if on my computer I can put a number in and a thing. Because if I get a FaceTime call on my phone mm -hmm. through my phone, then I won't be able to use it on my Mac. But if I get it on my email address, then you know what I mean? Safari. Yeah, I think I do. Safari updates. Next up is Safari. Safari is the best and most popular web browser on the planet. And we're making it even better. Maybe for just I maybe just for iOS, but in total definitely not, I don't think. No, on iOS it is. They're talking about mobile. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Be like, maybe not on the planet, but just in mobile sense. Yeah, yeah. I really, I really couldn't see myself using offline reading lists. I don't, I just don't do that. I don't know. It's weird. I don't even use reading yeah. lists. 
Well, I think it's like if you want to like save a news story or something to read later. But like if it takes you that long to read like a news story, then like I don't know. Like you must be downloading a lot of Whoa. news stories at that Saying point. You can up Smart app banners. Saying you can upload files. So it's oh yeah, that's cool. So like you can upload photos. Oh, uh, I don't care about that. I don't like when it tells me to go download the app because most of the time I don't care. Yeah. Yeah. Like every time I do like Temple Runner, like Fruit Ninja, it always tells me another app that's like very similar to it. And say, like, you should go download this. And I'm like, no, I'm playing this game. I don't need that other one. <laughs> yeah. All right. Like, Temple Jump. Oh, I do like that. The browser can push the URL to the app, which means you'll, left, you'll go where you left off. I like that. Photo stream. Photo stream. I never use Photo stream. I like their last update, the photo stream, where you could delete photos, because I hated not being able to delete them before. Oh, look. Look, there's the PC guy. Where? It's not updating. Right there. Oh, there oh, he right. is. <laughs> I thought you were talking about uh, John Hodgman. <laughs> I thought you were talking about John Hodgman for a second, the actual PC guy from the commercial. So I was like, where is he? Is he on stage? shared photo stream it's not a big deal yeah i don't understand what the special thing about photo stream is like, like i don't want to i don't want to share cool like a bunch just, of my photos just i message it well it's so that way i think photo stream really is so that way like when you take all these photos on your phone they just go up to the cloud and you have the ability to pull them off when like your phone's either dying or has died so you don't like lose everything that you have Well, I actually lost all my photos from my iPhone in the last update. I have to see if they're on Whoa, my laptop. They're showing a no Windows computer. Anyway. They are showing a Windows computer on the screen. Oh, man. Oh, uh -huh, yeah. What are they doing now? That said. Oh, the I'm worst thing, they're in okay, the Internet Explorer. We'll computer company after we sell one of those new MacBook Pros. Now a new feature, VIPs. Ooh, VIPs. I like VIPs. VIPs. Now everyone won't see my picture. At least I'm assuming that's what it means. <laughs> There'll be a lot of stuff to cover in a video after this. I know. Like, I'm writing <laughs> most of this down. Like, new MacBooks. Uh, like... VIP mailbox. The video file is going to be in, like, 5 gigs. I know. It's still recording after all so this you time. you can select people in your... You can select people What's in your, your mailbox in your contacts here? and make them VIPs and have them go to a special mailbox. I'm not entirely sure what that means. I guess like if you have like a bunch of people who email you all the time and you have like a couple important people, like say I have like a couple of business people who I want emails and they're I get a lot of emails on one account. I guess those get forwarded to a separate address or a separate. Oh, we have pool. It's called VIP, I we guess. Oh, okay. We have pull to refresh. I like pull to refresh. Yeah. Oh, and yeah, passbook. This is something that passbook. I would want. Pa the simplest way to get all of your passwords in one place. That's something I've always wanted because I've always it passes. Passes. Ah. Oh. What's a pass? Maybe, Maybe it's, it's for. I think it's like ticket stuff. I think the key ring app just got obsolete. I think this is a password kind of deal, though. No, it's for, like, star... Oh, this is awesome. I like this. Oh, man. So it's, like, hard. This is, like, stuff. it's, like, NFC, kind of. Oh! No, this will be cool. All right. I think I could like this. So it's like tickets. 
when you get the it'll handle all your tickets it'll handle your uh lo or your um what is it called? The your boarding passes, your loyalty cards, movie tickets, all that stuff. Yeah, we're looking at a Fandango ticket right now. Oh, that is a very nice layout. This Did you cool, see that? Because I use Fandango. Oh, and, and Apple Store gift cards. Yeah, it looks really Did cool. you just see that? That is a really nice layout. Yeah. Wow. So you have like baseball tickets. You have boarding passes. You have. Uh, Apple Store cards, you have Amtrak tickets, you have Starbucks codes, you have movie tickets. This looks pretty sweet. Well, I know oh, what man, I'm this video I'm going to have to make after this is going to be so long. For me, I'm, I'm just... My, I'm going to have to like, fly through like this, 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 this. <laughs> I use the Starbucks one all the time. I, I You just go into Starbucks and scan your... Um, scan your phone and it pays for it right there. Man, I wish this was coming out sooner because I'm going on. I know I'm going to be taking a lot of trips this summer. Like one up to Philly, one up to Boston, one to Virginia Beach. They might, I think they're coming out like later today. Oh, this is going to be so awesome. The beta versions or what developer previews. I remember last time when I oh, tried shredding in animation. That's cute. I remember last time when I tried to get iOS 5 on my iPod Touch. I basically almost turned it into a brick. And then, like, I had to reset the entire thing. <laughs> it was like a hard reset. And... The guy at the Apple store couldn't even help me because he was like, well, you might just have to wait until September uh, for you to update the entire thing. I'm like, are you kidding me? And so like, I go home, I look up all these ways, and I'm like, oh, that's how you like do a hard reset. You have to like manually wipe it and then restore it with iTunes. United Ticket Now purchases a notification with the new gate. And tap your ticket is naturally updated. That's pretty sweet. And of course, you get all of these in uh, notification I've never been center. On a yeah. I've never been on a plane, and I've never flown, obviously, so this doesn't really affect me. Guided access. See, this is the one who I think was talking about. Uh, the guy who is blind and going through the woods. I think they partnered with that guy so that way they could sort of build it more into iOS 6. I'm not kidding. This is going to be my longest video ever. Like, so far, like, the little marker that is saying where I am in the video is about... Let me go back to it. Two hours and nine minutes. That's where we are so far. Oh, man. It's going to take a lot to upload. I currently have 18 gigabytes free on my Mac hard drive, so I'm hoping this will not fill up my entire portion <laughs> that I have left. Oh, wow. Single app. Oh, so you can make it say don't close the app. Oh yeah. Oh, that would that would be good for oh, like cool. uh. That would be good for like schools. I once went to this one museum. Yeah, I once went to this one museum, and uh, they had the this one web page for the iPads, and like they had a metal case around it, so you can hit the home button or anything. Turns out it was an iPad too, so I did the gesture to get out of it. Oh, we're talking about well, maps, maps now. I went to the maps, maps and time. I said. Oh, here we go. In iOS uh, 6, we right now have beautiful yeah, have new mapping fun. solutions from the ground up. You know what? It might be bye-bye Google at yep. this point. 
Google's gone. Bye bye, Google. Yep, Google's gone. Hey, Maybe. look, it's one Who infinite knows? loop. Oh, uh, yeah, it is. One See, infinite right next loop. To it is. That's where it is. Oh, wow. These maps are beautiful. Whoa. That looks nice. These are yeah, really, really nice. Good. Look at that. Good job, Apple. You can now do local searches and search among oh, hun have hundreds of millions of businesses. Wow, this is really good. Those look nice. Yeah, Google Maps is gone. Yeah. That is. That is really. It'd be nice. awesome if they had weather. If they had weather like integrated into it, like they had. A <clears throat> yeah, like the uh, clouds and like the cloud the cover. The traffic service. They have a traffic service. Ooh, that looks really good. Like that's cool. That that's cool. It even gives so you, you details on like the why game. there's traffic service. Like one of them is pointing to a guy yeah. doing construction, and another one is like a car accident. Turn by turn navigation. This is big. Turn by turn. There it is. That's yes. Ooh, turn by turn. I needed that the other day. I was like lost, and I'm trying to like hold on the steering wheel and like hold my iPhone so I'd be following the way it would go. It was really bad. But if they have the Siri voice doing this, that will like be that really awesome. Line. Like Siri, take me here, and they're yeah. just like, okay, turn right. Turn right. Turn left. Turn right. Turn right. Turn right. Turn right. Turn right. Turn right. And 3D. You're back where you started. Yeah, and if it's a Siri voice, I mean, come on, they're gonna give Siri voice to us through maps in the iPhone 4. Come on, just give us the whole Siri. They now have 3D renderings of maps. That's not gonna happen. Oh, look at that. That <clears throat> is beautiful. That's pretty awesome. That's really cool. Oh, and you can even view it from the lock screen. Apple is one amazing company. They are. Can you imagine what each of us would be doing if we weren't into technology? Like, at this point? Well, you can also I'd probably be sitting like, staring at a wall or something. Can I get gas and it'll find some along the way? Are we, Are we there, there yet? yet? <laughs> it's like we can use Siri. That should be like the Google car. Like, somebody asks the Google car, Are you there yet? And it's like, We'll get there when we get there! Yeah. <laughs> There's also a 3D flyover view of cities, something so good that we have to demo it ourselves. Oh, where they go? Demo time. This is very similar to what... Oh, wow! Whoa, look oh, wow. At that. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, wow. That's amazing. That is a beautiful rendition of San Francisco. That's real nice. That could easily be a photograph. Oh, wow. It is. Wait a minute. Is a photograph... No, I, I don't think so. No. I think it's 3D rendered. Really? Yeah, that looks rendered. Man. Maps are vector based yeah, again vector like Google based. Maps. Maps are vector based like Google Maps. Zoom. I was on the iPad. Wow, you get details even of like all the different stuff. Thank you. This is on an iPad, by the way. Zooming in, rotating around. And so you can, like, rotate around stuff? Oh, yeah. That would probably give you, like, a good sense of where you were in the city. That's pretty sweet. Yeah, but if we... If we weren't doing tech, I mean... We wouldn't know anything about any of this. Oh, man, if I wasn't doing tech, I don't know what I'd be doing. I'd still be, like, thinking to myself, what am I going to do with my life? 
And at that point, I'd probably just say, like, I'll major in business. I'll do something. Sit here and watch TV all day. If I wasn't in tech, I'd probably think that would be a great idea. Just watching TV all the time. You know what Apple should make? What? They should make a 3D modeling and animating software. Isn't that kind of like motion? Or, uh... Ooh, yeah, that's... I'm talking like real 3D. Well, that would be really good. Like, something kind of like a CAD software, I guess. Yeah. Oh, that is so beautiful. Man, Apple... Uh, man, they really... Google Maps is screwed. Oh, they are so screwed. Are you kidding me? This is beautiful. Yeah, Google Maps is gonna just going to stop. Oh, man. Like... Remember when, uh, like, I'm Intel sure was doing... More close to where Google Maps is right now. Like, Intel, like, used to be doing, like, something, like, with Apple, like, or some other chip maker in the iPhone, and then they started doing A5, and that just took it to a whole nother level. Stuff like this, it's going to go the exact same way. We're driving a simulated car on a simulated path to our simulated destination. God, is there anything Apple can't do? I have to know. I really do. That's pretty sweet. Oh, man. This is awesome. I just want to know the release date. Me too. At this point. And seriously, we're getting so amazed about this just from the maps. <laughs> I swear, I'll be using maps just so that way I can look at all the cities. Like, throughout the world. <laughs> yeah, just so I was... Be like, I've always yeah. wanted to go to Rio. Let's see there. Oh, here we go. Oh, uh, that's something I just saw on Twitter, and it said... It doesn't have street view, which kind of sucks. But why would you need it when you have stuff like this? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I never really use street picture. view that much. Oh, really? I use it all the yeah, time. Yeah, but you still have the street... I mean, you can, like, zoom in close enough and get, like, a different kind of angle. Out, like the country. But, uh... It's, it's different, though, because street you know, view is actual pictures. Did you know the iPad... The iPad was actually, like, planned out and everything before, like, in 2001. Oh, yeah, I have no so, doubt. Yeah, it was before the iPhone. The Lost mood. Account signatures of mail. Why is mine not updating? Custom, custom vibration alerts. Along with song. That's a new one, along with a song. Oh. Could put the Beatles uh, good morning to as your alarm setting. <clears throat> A lot of new stuff. Let's see what other things can I read on that. Something reminders for the iPad. Manual recorder of reminders. Location entry for reminders. I'm putting that back in. They're working on hearing aids, and, uh... Uh, there's a lost mode now, so, like, if you, like, lose your iPhone, you can put a number on the screen, and they'll just tap it, and it comes up. And then, of course, Chinese market features, uh, such as Bayou, uh, Sina. There's an in-app purchase as well. So you can buy stuff within the apps. 
What is auto layout? It must be in the SDK. Face detection, reminders. Face detection. I wish they would give more customization. That was the only thing I really wanted was more customization. Yeah, face detection would be pretty sweet. Like if they actually incorporate it into more apps, especially now that they have the much better camera. Better release. release to our Better developers, release developers today. today. All right. I'll be downloading it later. I will download it as soon as I finish my video. Well, I'm not a developer, so I'm not down. Make sure your UDID is registered with somebody. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be a brick. Small. I mean, I guess you could still downgrade. iPhone 3GS, iPad 2, iPad 4. It surprised me they're still supporting the iPhone 3GS, but I guess since it's still in stores. Oh, yeah. Alright, now it's time for one more thing. Oh, please, Tim, just give us that oh, lovely... Oh, iPhone. Wouldn't that be amazing, like, if after all of this, no, we get an iPhone? <laughs> yeah. No, that is and not like, going to happen. That takes, like, four more hours to cover Eat your words. Yep, they're talking. They're going. I think I'll download the beta videos. on my 3GS. Yeah, that's a smart idea. Come on, make it awesome. I know. Release like a new product we've never heard before, like the like uh, I don't know, like a vacuum cleaner. David DeFranco <laughs> like had this like one picture that he said like, oh, I can't believe Apple leaked this ahead, and it was a, a plug-in toothbrush that you could plug into the bottom of your iPhone, and it'd be like, <laughs> this is their newest product that they will be releasing. Tim's really churning through these features. Come on. Come on, give us the one more thing. One more thing. Okay, blah, 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 blah. There's still time for one more thing. Please. <laughs> eight, eight minutes for one more thing. They want to end by three. That's enough time for an iPhone. Yeah. No. I don't think so. Tim's getting serious. Tim's getting seriously here. What does that even mean? <laughs> That's some Not bad serious, grammar. Seriously. <clears throat> and I really can't think of a better reason to get up in the morning. He's almost choking up. Why? Tim, if you're going to release the iPhone, just do it. <laughs> just say, okay, new iPhone. Tell you yeah. about it. Aw, oh, man. He's probably just going to send us all uh, home. No, Thank you very much for coming for and joining us next time. And we are done. Man, they must not be doing the one more thing. No. They didn't do one more thing last time. I don't think they had a keynote. Well, when Steve Jobs gave uh, WWDC, oh, he did one last thing. And uh, I think they retired yeah. it with yeah. him. So, guys, that is it. Yeah, that's what I think. <laughs> All right. Well, let's get out of here so we can make our videos. All right, guys. Thank you so much for coming. Yeah, yeah we're going to go make some videos now. All right, let's go. And I will see you guys, hopefully, at the next video. It's been great hanging out with you guys again in person. Well, sort of. Uh, but uh, I will catch you guys then. So talk to you <laughs> then. <laughs> All right, guys. So All right. see you then. Yep. See Let's go make some videos. Thanks see you guys. guys. On the video. On the video making. Yep. All right. Video time. <laughs> Got to start cooking. Cooking up the... Yep.
All right. I don't even know what to do in the video. There's so much stuff. Record time 200, 2 hours and 25 minutes and 25 seconds.